Okay, so gonna start doing HelloFresh and a couple things about the delivery. Um, you already put it upside down, so that's kind of cool. And the thing with my screen door is it's really difficult to close, so sometimes people just give up and leave it open, which is cool. But the good news is when I hear it, I know someone's here, so they don't even need to knock or rile up the dogs. But this is not a negative thing to it's HelloFresh, just whoever delivered it. Um, pretty excited about trying it. Um, let me get this inside and we'll go from there. Hey everybody, I'm doing my first unboxing video. Um, I got our order from HelloFresh. This will be our first order for this house. Um, I have tried them before. My husband has not, so I'm excited to share that with him. Um, so I also put a little video in the beginning of how this was delivered. Again, nothing negative towards HelloFresh, just the delivery person, which I haven't had much luck with around here. Um, so we're gonna unbox this. Probably shouldn't be allowed to touch this. That's the dog drinking in the background, if you can hear that. Also got the baby watching some TV while I tried to do this. Hmm, that's, so, there's gonna be noises. But anyways, let's get this done. Okay. So, hello, delicious deals. Looks like some coupons that I can use in the future, so that's cool. Got our recipe cards. Might be a little backwards, so I apologize. So, um, this is a steak with fig sauce because I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that because it can't. Got some pork Milano tacos again if I'm mispronouncing something, and another one I'm not gonna pronounce. So that's pretty cool. Got the insulated bag. And then everything comes in its own little individual bag. Let me just get them all out real quick and then we'll go through them. Okay, so it looks like three bags for the three meals. And then the rest. Oh, they even put a little message to not forget the ingredients that might be hiding under the ice. So that's helpful. And there was some. I almost threw all that away. Good thing I read, huh? Oh, it's all the meat. Cool. All right. So there's nothing else hiding under there. There's not. So that's what it's all empty and you got the ice packs there, which are recyclable. So good to know. Okay. We got some steak, ground beef, and ground pork. And then I'm not going to open all these up until we're actually start ready to cook, but we've got all the ingredients for the beef something bowl, <laughs> the tacos, and the steak with fig sauce. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like how it's packaged. Um, so stay tuned and I'll show you what it's like to make one of these. Um, let me know what you think. And I'll see you later. And we're back. So I've got my apron on. I took my hat off so I can put my hair up. Um, we're going to try doing one of these HelloFresh recipes. I was going to do the recipe with the new toy thing, but um, this stuff hasn't thawed out yet. So we have to wait. Maybe tomorrow I'll try to record doing that. Um, but get all the ingredients and I'll reveal which one won. Um, again, if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you might have more of an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'm going to go get the stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the recipe card. This is the one that we're going to be doing. And here's the bag for it. And ground beef. 
open this bag up. Now, the bag says this is going to be fun. Let's see if that is true. Oh, the other phone is ringing. I don't even know if you can hear it, but my husband's work phone is ringing. Anyway, so we've got some, uh, they're calling them scallions. I've always called these green onions. I don't know if I'm wrong. If they're wrong, we'll find out. <laughs> um, the sauce. Some jasmine rice. Some shredded carrots. Sesame seed, sour cream. Oh, look at this thing! A little sriracha hot sauce packet. <laughs> some more sour cream <laughs> and some white wine vinegar. <laughs> I like how everything is portioned for the recipes. And last but not least, this thing is probably the biggest ingredient in all of here, which is surprising to me because I didn't think it would be. <laughs> so we've got to figure out how to ribbon this, so that should be uh, interesting. Um, as for the quality of the vegetable, I mean, it does seem a little bruised, but I don't think it matters. Everything else looks great. And that's it. The bag. Okay. Oh, be a proper YouTuber and get this stuff all nice and displayed properly. I'm sure, most YouTubers probably cut to this, but I haven't quite figured all that out yet. So, this is what we're doing. Okay, so here's all the ingredients laid out, and let's get started. Okay, so it wants me to use half of this for the pickling of the cucumber. So that's interesting, considering how teeny tiny this thing is. So we'll go ahead and we'll try to do half it. Okay, so it wants me to ribbon this using a peeler cutting it lengthwise so mm -hmm. we'll we'll see I'm not ooh, too sure about this eh. remember one time my mom wanted me to help her um, peel some apples and um, it didn't go well and neither is this I don't really how do you ribbon something Okay, so I'm just peeling it. So the other option it does give is to cut it up into tiny, let's see, cucumber ribbons. Maximum marinade absorption. If you rather skip the peeler this time around, we suggest thinly slicing your cuke in, in step two instead. So that's what we're going to do because that's just not going to work for me. You think that's thin enough? <laughs> I did wash this, by the way. Anybody watching is probably like, what is she doing? The answer, I don't know. And then trying to do this around a phone is kind of interesting, too. We're learning all sorts of new things. Trying to get them thin. I mean, they're kind of ribbony. If I try to tie a bow with them. I mean, isn't that what you do with ribbons? <laughs> I 
Okay, so you've obviously seen that I don't know how to wield a knife, so I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, so we finished the kind of ribboning, ribboning, yeah, we made these into something. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work. <laughs> I couldn't get it any smaller comfortably. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so we've got the carrots doing stuff in here. Um, the instruction said to drizzle some oil. Um, I'm not sure if that's a, an appropriate measuring <laughs> measurement for someone who doesn't do a lot of cooking. Um, and especially with oil, fun story about that. Uh, I was making a recipe one time, decided that I was going to double the oil amount because I was doubling the recipe and ended up splashing hot oil all over my arm and face. Um, luckily it didn't scar, but uh, it, did, it did suck. Um, so we've also got the rice cooking over here. I don't know if that's supposed to be doing that. <laughs> um, we'll see if this turns into a uh, let's have cereal kind of night. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let this cook and I'll be back. So I just asked my husband, who's standing behind me quietly, how to tell if carrots are tender. And he said, I don't know, are they whispering tender things in your ear? Um, they are not, so I don't think they're quite tender yet. Oh my god, where'd the carrots go? Oh, they're right there. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the next step was to plate the carrots. I'm sure they didn't intend on a paper plate, but that's what we're working with right now. Um, and put in the scallions, green onions, whatever you want to call them, into the pan with another drizzle of oil. So let's see how well that goes. Okay, so we added the hamburger meat and it's cooking. Um, the onions kind of started to get away from me a little bit there. Um, it was a little scary situation. Oil was doing that hissing sound again, so maybe I did use a little bit more than a drizzle. Um, yeah, so cooking this up and we're going on to the next step. Okay, so we added some sauce and half of the sesame seeds and the rest of the vinegar. Um, don't know what it is about this recipe and halving the little tiny things, but that's what it's telling me to do. So now we're going to work on the sauce. Okay, so we got our sour cream and our funny little sriracha thing. Okay, so we're finished and it looks great, right? Oh, that's just a picture. <laughs> so this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what I did. Not bad. So I'm going to go serve these up and I'll let you know how they turned out. So we just finished eating up our HelloFresh meal. It was pretty good. Um, a little too cucumbery for me. I ended up not eating most of the cucumbers. I think if I had sliced them up smaller, it would have worked better, but like I said, I'm not a very good cook, um, but I tried. Uh, my goal is to find something that my husband will be like super excited for when it comes to food. Mostly whenever we eat, he just says, it's okay. This time I got it, it's interesting. Not sure if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but... I'll take it as a good. Um, we're getting ready for bed, so I just wanted to let you know how what I thought of HelloFresh, and I liked the meal. It was somewhat easy to make. I think the measurements could be a little bit more clear, but 
that's just me. <laughs> uh, so I will see you guys later and let me know what you think I should do next. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, do all the things. Do it now. And I'll see you guys later.